I think as you grow older, much older, the number one threat is loneliness. There's not a diagnosis for it. There's not a, a code in the insurance book, but it's so true. And being isolated, being alone, it is a sad way to live. And in, in this world we live in, lots and lots of elders are alone. And that then threatens their physical health, they're not taking their medications right, they're not sleeping well, and they're not eating well. And it's one of those things that needs to be addressed. We have to think about what life is going to be like and what our plan is for the final chapters of our life. All through life, people plan for the future. Even young people, they're, they're in high school and they're planning for their college. They're in college and they're thinking and planning about what their careers will be. When people get to be 70 and 80 and 90, they quit planning for the future. I know that uh, most of us would choose our plan to be, we want to live vigorously and with vitality and energy. And when we're 95, just go to bed and not wake up the next morning. I think that's a great plan, but it is a hopeful and really not a strategy. And so it's important, the older that we get, to have some kind of strategy for our future in case our biggest hope doesn't take place. People don't want to think about death, but the truth is until you really face death, you can't really live. I was approaching what I call my Medicare birthday. And I must admit, I was being kind of whiny and pitiful. I always kind of had a dream of being rich and famous. So I was thinking that morning, well, yeah, that's not happened. You know, so what, where did that come from? And now I'm 65 years old and none of that has happened. And I had one of those moments, a message that was not inside of my head that day. It came from someplace else, someplace inspired. And that message was, and the voice was, Connie, you're just now old enough. And I got out of bed. <laughs> I thought, this is it. I, I know enough, I've learned enough, I've had enough experience maybe, that I'm just now old enough. That message is for the whole wide world, and it is certainly a message for 70-year-olds, 80-year-olds, and 90-year-olds, and 100 year -olds. You're just now old enough for your purpose and your passion and your life today. Sixty-five is nothing. If you have a purpose and a burning little desire in your heart, no matter how big or how small, then you're just now old enough.